Here we go. Officially in Denver, finally. Yeah. After a uh, what seemed like a long flight, it was only like three hours, but the whole getting our rental car and all of that took a lot longer than expected. And right now we are at Black Black Coffee. Um, we are meeting up with my friend Jake, Jake Fru. He is he does YouTube videos as well, and I'm pretty sure he lives out of a van. Um, so we're about to go meet him at this coffee shop and see what happens from there. met up with Jake and there's Andrew too and unfortunately Jake's got a broken ankle um, yeah. what happened uh, well I was skating broke my ankle right when I had plans to make a bunch of videos and now those plans are ruined <laughs> and in case you didn't don't already follow him you should definitely check him out on Instagram and on YouTube he makes amazing videos he's was living in a van until uh, that happened to his leg, but he still got it. <laughs> and the plan is to hit the road afterwards, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's delayed a little bit, but <laughs> now the plan's to get into the van and start traveling a bit. I just wanted to come and say what's up to him, and hopefully we'll be back for some adventures yeah. when it's not super snowy and come you don't have a broken leg. I can actually hike and go places. <laughs> yes, exactly. But anyways, I'll link him in the description. Go check him out. He's awesome. Thanks for being up. Yeah. It was nice meeting Jake. I've watched his videos for a long time and I was excited to meet him. It's cool to just know that there's people all over the country that you can just meet up with. I wish that he could have actually came out with us and not had a broken ankle, but hey, what can you do? Um, so we actually don't even really have much of a plan for this trip, to be honest with you. We're basically just winging it. We have a hotel booked for tonight in Estes Park, right outside of Rocky Mountain National Park. And right now, I don't know if you can see behind me, we're driving through Boulder and we're just driving through and gonna stop at what we see on the way and hey, there's a cow or something. <laughs> um, this is crazy. I've been wanting to see snow-capped mountains and snowy mountains for so long. So this is so... These ones are truly snow-capped. <laughs> yeah. And there's just pine trees or I don't know what kind of trees those are, but this is just amazing and I've been waiting for this. And it's only... 15 or 12 degrees here, but it seriously feels like it's 35, 40 degrees out. I was outside in a hoodie, no problem. We just pulled over on the side of the road right here and took a few photos. And we are just gonna continue our drive. You probably can't hear anything I just realized because of the car and there's no external mic on this camera. So I'm sorry if you can't hear us, but we uh, are going to just continue our drive on to Estes Park. We just tried to fly, fly the drone, but for whatever reason I couldn't get it to launch. 
it said I didn't have service and it just said that it wasn't connecting. So we're gonna get back in the rental car and be on our way now. Well, we did not make it very far at all without stopping already. We're stopping to shoot this road in the background behind us. I don't know if you can see it, but we're gonna shoot it with the 70 to 200 and get. The camera died since the last clip that you saw, so we, uh, Made it to Estes Park and wow is all I can honestly say. I mean, look at this. We made it to our hotel, and I guess you can get a little room tour because it's actually a pretty cool room. So right away, we got mountain views, and the best part, say what's up. What's up? Check out this view. I mean, look at that. Right from the balcony. We are back at the hotel for a couple of minutes, gonna grab some warmer clothes um, and head out to Rocky National Park. We're staying literally 10 minutes down the road from it and it's already like four o'clock today. We spent most of the day kind of driving here and just taking our time, but um, we still have couple hours of daylight so we're gonna go see if we can catch the sunset somewhere and maybe fly the drone I can't fly the drone in the National Park but this whole area around it is seriously gorgeous so let's do it shot here I'm trying to get in the habit of telling more of a story instead of just taking those like Instagram photos so I'm setting up a tripod shot of us with the car we're gonna sit on the back of the car and get this in frame <laughs> are out here freezing cold it's like 10 degrees that's all right we are the only ones here at Sprague Lake I think it is um, in Rocky Mountain National Park that's why I like coming to national parks in the winter because no one's here like everybody was telling us don't go in the winter you can't get to half the stuff but oh well there's less people. Dang, I'm really out of breath. I don't know if it's the altitude change or what, because we didn't walk that far at all and I'm totally out of breath. All right, let's see. Let's just make sure it's not ice we're walking on. Check out the sunset though. This is amazing. We are the only people here. The only people on this entire lake and we've seen very few people in the national park as a whole. So, pro tip, come in the winter time.
Anyways, I uh, probably am gonna end the vlog there. It's been a long day. I don't even know how much footage we have. We have been up since 3 a.m. Um, haven't slept really. So nothing too crazy happened today. It was basically just our, uh, well mine. Andrew has been to Colorado before. I have never been. So it's my introduction to Colorado and I have to say I'm very impressed. Like. I'm honestly blown away and we already took a bajillion photos and I'm sure there's tons of vlog footage already This is probably gonna be a long one and this is only day one of the trip <laughs> the first 12 hours So Andrew you got anything to say you've been pretty quiet this whole vlog. Uh, what are you feeling? It's cold. Yeah, but, it's a uh, <laughs> Negative six degrees out today, but you can't be mad when you have a view like that. It's worth it every single time. All right, well, hopefully you guys like this one. I don't know how the footage turned out on the Sony RX100. Woo, I almost just slipped. We're basically standing on ice, so 